This right here is a dead man who's about to change the world. You've probably never heard of him, but your grandkids are going to study about him in school. And when you learn what I'm about to show you that he figured out, it could change your life. Dennis Burkett was a world-renowned scientist that liked to study poo. He would study different types of poo. He would weigh it. He would measure it. He learned everything he could possibly learn about poo. He noticed that the people's poop in Europe and the United States was very, very different than the people's poop in Africa. The poop in the U.S. and Europe often looked like this or like this. It was lumpy and hard. Whereas the people in Africa had poop that looked more like this and it was a lot smoother and softer. The people in high income countries like the United States and Europe had a bunch of health problems that the people in Africa simply didn't have. Dr. Burkett started to study the transit time of food. When we eat something, how long does it take to go in the entrance, work its way through our system and leave through the exit? When he tested people in the UK and in the United States, sometimes the transit time of food was as much as three to five days. Whereas in Africa, they simply gave people some red berries and they tested how long it took for the red berries to show up in the person's stool. And in Africa, it was right around 24 hours. The question was, why are the people in high income countries way more constipated than the people in low income countries? After living in Africa and studying this phenomenon for more than 20 years, Burkett came up with a hypothesis as to why Western countries are getting so sick. Burkett attributed these diseases to the small quantities of dietary fiber consumed in high income countries due mainly to the overprocessing of natural foods. In high income countries, food makers take a product like this, they take out all of the good stuff so they can make a product like this. But there are serious consequences to removing all this good stuff. A lot of Burkitt's contemporaries thought that sugar was the problem. But Burkitt simply showed them that in nature, sugar always comes with fiber. And as long as you have the fiber, the sugar's not a problem. Burkitt figured out that in high income countries, we have severely fiber deficient diets. One of the first signs and symptoms is constipation. Long term, fiber deficient diet can lead to colon cancer, diverticulosis, appendicitis, varicose veins, diabetes, obesity, allergies, breast cancer, prostate cancer, IBD, lots of problems. In 2020, modern scientists revisited Burkitt's hypothesis, basically saying that 40, 50 years later, we realized that Dr. Burkitt was exactly right. Modern scientists now know that the microbes living in our gut ferment the fiber to create short-chain fatty acids, and short-chain fatty acids help with all these problems. Most of the fiber experts that I've studied say to start slowly and gradually work your way up, and the more fiber you get, usually the less problems you have. You can see my other TikTok videos about how fiber is being removed from the modern diet. I've also done videos on what the experts say to do if fiber gives you stomach problems and discomfort. If you're struggling with any of these problems, I hope this helps.